back to talk about Girls Season 4, Episode 2. I'm Ashley. I'm Esther. It's good to see you guys again. I feel like when I go back and think about this episode, the first thing I want to talk about is this workshop that yeah. Hannah went to. Hannah is... Well, Hannah, Hannah's first week at, at school has not... Not going that well. It's yeah, it sort of first seems like this blissful mm -hmm. place. Like, she's there, um, she gets a really great living situation, um, but it sort of slowly starts to go downhill, especially when she starts to meet her fellow MFA students. Hannah tells us, you know, reads her story, and it's very sexual in first person and seems confessional. It's right. Yeah, it's about someone hitting her, someone we presume is Adam. And the, yeah, the question that, t that comes up, you know, in the end is, is the person in the story you? The thing is, in general, I don't think, you know, I think we've learned through girls, stories can have elements of the person that's writing them, and that's not a bad thing. So often, women um, have been faulted, women especially have been faulted for sort of confessional writing um, from everyone from, you know, Lena to Lena's friend, Taylor Swift. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of Taylor Swift. <laughs> but in this case, I'm not sure how we're supposed to feel about it, because Hannah's story isn't good. Hannah's story isn't good. The show is operating on this, is operating on this sort of metal level, sort of asking us how much are we supposed to, supposed to take people to task for, you know, writing only what they know. Especially when it's something that is unlikable, like this, like this story that Hannah writes, like the character of Hannah Horvath. You know, you look yeah. at Hannah and say, how much of this unlikable character is Lena Dunham? I think it's an interesting perspective for the show to take because I think as time has gone on with the show, the distance between Lena Dunham and Hannah Horvath has grown so greatly. Right, it's like, become clearer, I think, yeah, too, that I, Lena Dunham writes an obnoxious character and plays her on television rather than is Hannah Horvath herself, yeah. right? And there's less of a distinction in this scene, I think, right? I think I think they made Hannah really at her worst in this episode. Mm -hmm. um, this is the, the most unbearable I think we've seen her in a while. Yeah, which is which comes into strong focus when she's talking to Logan at the bar and she sort of comes upon this realization that Oh my god, the reason Logan must have said that she was offended during um, the workshop is because Logan herself must have been abused. Or telling someone that they're a survivor of abuse when maybe they're not is so much worse than not being able to handle criticism of your work, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's Hannah grasping, it's Hannah being so in herself that, you know, the show often plays with, you know, how horrible can they be before they're like too horrible and this is really that's really one of their one of the most horrible moments i've seen in a while mm -hmm. i i agree um also cringeworthy however is the appearance of elijah in yeah. iowa this made me cringe because this is one of the first first real moments of the show where i felt like this just felt false like this was something that the characters probably would not do if they were real people. We love Elijah. I mean, I yeah, think he's one of, favorite, he's like, one of the funniest character characters character. on the show. Um, but bringing him to Iowa is one of the first moments in this show where I felt like it was fan service in a way that almost is distracting. I felt like that was too much catering to what I want as a fan and not catering yeah. to, and not, and not telling a good story. And I think it's one of, you know, I think Lena Dunham does a really, really good job when she does these sort of episodes where Hannah leaves the world of New York mm -hmm. a lot of the times. I mean, you think about back to the first season when she went home to her parents. You think about yeah. the, you know, last season when she visited her grandma. Even when she's in New York and she's just alone, um, the episode with Patrick Wilson, One Man's Trash. And, I, you know, I think this episode almost could have been that, but by placing Elijah in there and being like, hey guys, we need to like check in on this character, yeah. it, se it seemed odd. Like, no one shows up in a different state randomly. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just like doesn't happen in real life. You know, like, you don't come home in your new place in Iowa. <laughs> yeah, like maybe this does happen 
happened to some of you, but in my experience, that sure. has never happened. To the show's credit, that seed got, did get planted last week with Elijah complaining about how he runs into Pal all the time, and you know, this is just yeah, the seed is getting too small. I don't know. I, I don't. Still, yeah, I don't think yeah. it's like I don't think the seed was planted enough for it to be sort of legitimate anyway. But Elijah's there, and then it's like, whew, they're going to an underground ranger. Well, first, this party, I think, feels like college as remembered by someone who has not been in college for a while. You'll note that at this party, they're listening to Get Low, the <laughs> Little John, you know, from 2002. Let us know in the comments if that's still a thing. I mean, if you're in college and you still listen to Little John at parties, you know, obviously maybe we're wrong here. I mean, like, there's some funny moments of, like, Hannah and Elijah getting down and dancing. Um, but then Hannah Jello wrestles. I mean, I think one of the interesting things to talk about with this party and a seed that is planted um, is Hannah talking to a girl who's crying because yes. her boyfriend from back home from Iowa State is hooking up mm -hmm. with some That's other cheating. girl, is cheating on her or something. Hannah sort of is like, fuck up, you know, don't ask, don't get tell about wet. the situation, <laughs> like, yeah. get your dick wet, go into the party, and, you know, Hannah, meanwhile, is has something going on with Adam. Earlier in the episode, she mm -hmm. asks, um, you know, Seems Marty to be about it. about how much she wants to know what's going on there and how much she wants to know what's going on between the two of them. Yeah, and they don't seem to be in very good contact yeah. at all. I, that's an interesting seed that is planted, especially Hannah's, you know, get out there, be free, which obviously she's sort of doing, but it's not like she's hooking up with any other guys. Elijah, however, is in a very funny moment. I guess we'll see more of Elijah next week in more Iowa. Iowa. Yeah. And more um, of Iowa. So we'll be back next week with another chat about uh, girls, and it'll be episode three. Let us know what you like to hear in the comments and tell us what your most cringeworthy moment was.